All right, friends, welcome back. You should have all these letters so that we can spell some words and change the ending sound to make new words together. Here are all the letters we found down at the bottom. All right, I want us to make the word hat. Can you stretch it on your arm? At. Let's see if we can spell that word. That's the letter H. A. That's the letter A. T. That's the letter T. At. Hat. Can you take your finger and point under each letter, say the sound, at, and then slide it and read the word? Hat. Very good. We can change the word hat to a new word by changing the ending sound. Listen as I say the first part slowly, and I'm going to put a new sound at the end. Ham. Hmm. Ham. Put your finger under the last letter. When I say the word ham, do you see the letter that makes the mmm sound at the end? I don't either. We have the t sound. Take the letter T and can you replace it with the letter that makes this word ham? I hear the mmm at the end. What letter did you put there? I hope you put the letter M. Ham. Now our letters match the sounds we hear in that word. Let's try another one. Move your letters down. All right, the next word we're going to spell is pet. Stretch it on your arm. P -e -t. When I said the word pet, I heard the letters P, P, E, E, T, T, P, E, T, pet. Make your board look like mine. Now take your finger and put it under the last letter. The last letter is T because the sound we hear at the end of this word is the pet, is the T sound. I'm going to change this and make it a new word and see if your finger is here matching the sound you hear. Peg. What sound did you hear at the end of the word peg? I heard the G sound. Does that letter match? No, we need to move that T down. Can you replace it with the letter we hear at the end of the word peg? What letter are you going to put there? I'm going to put the letter G. P -e -g. Peg. Very good. All right, let's do another one. Move your letters down. Keep them nice and neat. My next word is tap. Can you stretch it on your arm? T -a -p. Let's see if you can spell that word tap. I'm going to spell it. I'm going to keep it a secret. T -a -p. Let's see. Get those letters there. Three, two, one. Show me your board. Does it look like mine? This is the word tap. T -a -p. Tap. What is the sound you hear at the end of the word tap? I hear the p sound. That's why we have the letter P. I'm going to change it, and I want this word to say tag. Sorry, I forgot for a minute what word I wanted. Tag. Does our letter match that sound at the end of the word? Take your P and replace it with the sound, the letter that makes the sound you hear at the end of the word tag. Did you move the letter G up? Tag. That's right. Now we hear t -a -g, tag. All right, I have one more for you to do. The word I want you to spell is sad. Stretch it on your arm. S -a -d. See if you can spell it on your board. S -a -d. Three, two, one. Show me your board. Does it look like mine? S 
sad. Sad. Now I'm going to change it. I want it to say the name Sam. Sam. Does our letter match the sound we hear? Sam. No, it does not. Can you replace that D with the letter you hear at the end of the word Sam? What letter is going to go there at the end? Let's see. Did you put the letter M there? Sam. That's the sound I hear. Mmm, Sam. Nice work, friends. Today you worked really hard to listen all the way to the end of the word, and we were able to make some new words just by changing the last letter. On the next slide, I'm going to ask you to do this one more time. I'm going to tell you a word, and then I'm going to tell you two ways to change it to make a new word. 